today we have someone new, Christina Dilfrio, also a faithful student. So they're everywhere here. <laughs> okay, so last week um, we took a look at working this as a sweep, going into an open guard sweep. Uh, it doesn't work, it fails. We take the knee and we could use that as either a submission or an actual, a, another sweep. So, so again, the sleeves are very important, holding the sleeves when you have the gi on. Wrist control without the gi. All right, so leg on her leg, hip out, back, walk, sit up, grab both arms, she stands up. Now I can take the sweep, I go upside down, grab my foot, okay, stay right here. Once I'm here, this leg back and forth. That's what's gonna bring her balance. It's gonna break her balance right off. Here, sit on her. Once you get on top, underhook. And I'm gonna come around for the head. Of course, she's gonna put me in the half guard right here. So once I'm here, this hand right away has to hold her leg. And if I don't do this, put me back in the guard. She puts me right back in the guard. So one more time. So I'm here. If I hold this foot back in the guard, she can't because I'm holding her leg and I'm keeping her flat with my head. Now once I'm here on my top, we uh, ended with this move last time, so we're gonna go into some more detail about how to get this. This part of her leg has to go flat. So I walk my leg out, and this is all while I'm holding her other leg. I hold, push this leg down, walk it flat, head here. Now my knee's gonna go down the ground so I can uh, put my hook right over her leg. Now I'm gonna grab over hook on this side and I'm just gonna sit through. I'm gonna drive my foot down. Left, leg's gonna, left foot's gonna be driven down as I sit through. With my right leg, I slide my knee up. I'm gonna put pressure here on her ribs and sit through. When I sit through, my hips don't touch the ground. A lot of people, they sit through, it's like this. Okay, that's one way of doing it, but you can put a lot more weight. If you grab the arm, put your forearm on her ribs, and put your weight on her rather than on the mat. Now, once I'm here, because my hips are off the ground, I can move my legs pretty easily. So this leg, right underneath her arm. Step over. Now I'm gonna hand this hand over to my shoulder and I'm gonna switch. Here, push down on the stomach, knee up. Now I just sit back, take one here, and two, make sure your knees are together, right here. Double arm bar. Okay? My left hand was holding her leg until I could put her leg flat and train my leg through my hand. Now I can let go, over hook. I sit through, drive my knee up into her armpit so I can put weight on her and be light on my feet. My hips off the ground. Now my leg is gonna go nice and tight to her body, other leg over. All right, I have this arm in tight, still holding it. I'm gonna bring this other arm here up to my shoulder, grab with the other hand, put my hand on her stomach. Now I put my knee here. Now sit back, one, two, you can finish here. Once you sit back, you can't swing around for the other arm. If you want to swing around for the other arm, you have to do it right from here. You're just going to swivel here. Take the other arm. And then we'll do the traditional grabbing here. Weight, no weight on the ground. Push. Here, grab your elbows. Just gonna sit back, nice and slow, knee up. Bring everything to your chest. That's one, 
and this is two. Make sure you pinch your knees together. Let's take a look at this in, in a more realistic speed. So it's a lot of moves. So we're here. One, two. And a little slower. From the sit through position. Okay, remember, hips are not on the ground. Leg steps over, other legs in tight. Now I'm just gonna do the arm transfer here. Push, put my knee on her. If I want, I can switch around, take the other arm. Just another option. So but we'll just go the traditional way here. Leg tight, leg over, hand it off, push on her stomach, put the knee here. Both elbows, sit back. One, two. And there it is. 